Hi, welcome to today's sautéed onions. We call it encebollado in Colombia. It is an amazing Colombian recipe. For my book, Secrets of Colombian Cooking, you are going to love it. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Let's begin with their onion. This is a Colombian recipe of carne encebollada or onioned beef. And it is amazing. This is a traditional recipe from the book Secrets of Colombian Cooking. So we begin with our onions because they take longer to cook. We're going to slow cook them on a pan and they take about 20 minutes. We place them on a pan, add a little bit of olive oil and a couple of spices. They are ground cloves and allspice. This is a traditional way of how to make it at home. It's just a pinch of each. Then some olive oil with some garlic that I had almost forgotten. Cover it and place it over medium heat. Look at it so that they slowly cook. This is going to take about 15 minutes. Now let's begin with our meat. I'm going to use entraña, which is an Argentinian cut. You can use skirt steak, you can also use flap, and they are very, very tasty, but very, very fatty. So we're going to remove the fat that is most visible outside. There's some fat inside, but that's going to melt while you cook it. So after you get rid of all this fat, and you're going to see in a minute a picture of a whole flap steak and all of the fat I got out of it, same as this one. It's amazing. Now you're gonna take your meat and you're gonna cut it against the grain. That way it's gonna be more tender because sometimes it's not as tender as you'd want it to be, especially if it's grass-fed beef. We are gonna season our meat with our herbs, garlic, a little bit of seasonings, salt and pepper, and we're gonna place it in the oven. I wanted to show you that you can also freeze it in packs like these and keep it frozen because it is very easy to defrost if you freeze them like this in bags or containers that are not thick so that you can defrost them in minutes underwater without letting the water go into the beef. You can actually freeze them seasoned if you want to or not. These ones are not the same ones that I was using right there and those I seasoned with some Mediterranean spices, zatar and sumac and a little bit of garlic and olive oil. So you can season them as we do in Colombia or you can season them as you want. They come out amazing and they only cook for 45 to 55 seconds. Depending on your broiler, we broil them in very high heat and it's perfect. So here are our onions and they were about to burn on one side. So I'm gonna tell you what I do when that happens. Now we're gonna put each of our meat pieces in a baking pan and we don't want them to touch each other so that they brown. If you put them too close together, they are gonna let some of that moisture and fat out and they're not gonna brown beautifully. Pinch of salt and pepper on top and we're ready to go. We're gonna broil them really close to your broiler. So go with the highest of your oven's height for 45 to 55 seconds. Now to our onions, we're going to add a tomato that we sliced and some mustard. And I told you I was going to tell you about how to get that burnt or that highly golden part from the bottom of the pan and get all those delicious and sweet drippings from your pan. You see that there was some moisture? I had added two tablespoonful of water with the tomatoes and look how all of the drippings come out of the pan. You get them into your food and the pan's gonna be very easy to clean. Instead of adding more oil to try to get it off, all you need is a little bit of water to create that moisture and cover it. This is our delicious, delicious encebollado or onion that we're gonna put on top of our meat. Check it out, beautiful, golden and delicious. Now this is how I also freeze my onion mix. This recipe that you're gonna see works for about four to six people. 
and what I do is I freeze two-thirds of the recipe so that another day I can have my onion ready to cook just by warming it up in a minute. Now we're gonna make some delicious potatoes. This is gonna be a little fast, but the whole video is gonna come up soon. So we wash well our potatoes, remember they grow underground, and we cut them, slice them into big slices. Why big slices? Because we're gonna make them golden on the sides and otherwise it would take a larger pan to do this. We take a pan and we're gonna add paprika or if you're doing the meat, the same spices that we use for the meat. A little bit of salt and some olive oil. Since they are cooked, all you have to do, lightly saute them on the pan over medium-high heat with some sesame seeds. Look at them, they're beautiful. Here we have a meal for two with a salad, delicious traditional Colombian beef that is called carne encebollada. Shepachi, delicious food, amazing food. Enjoy, Shepachi.